soon as we go out on the job site, and all these piles will be closed. The tail, the, the whip that the electricians will hook up or enter from the back. They'll have this back on so there's nothing that could be touched or uh, damaged or anything. This is the whole control panel. Your power on and off. Your compressor fan control up and down. This is your room temperature and your set temperature. So everything that's working from this machine will be working from this front panel. When they get this on the job site, there's lugs in here, the ground's here. This is a three-phase unit. So one, two, three hots. They hook up their leads to here. This is the main breaker for the unit. This is the low voltage breaker for the unit. The rest are all contactors and everything else. But, and then they, well, we also have a fire alarm set up that gets set up when we put the door back on. So basically as we're looking at the front of the unit, get your evaporator behind the filter. There. Cool air exhaust. We'll be pulling the air through the evaporator, cooling it through the evaporator. And then this is where your spot cooler comes in play. It spots the air to the direction you would like it to go, extend it, and you can direct it any direction you would like. All right, back here is your condensing side. You got your exhaust, which is pulling out the hot air as your condensing side rejects the heat. It extends out, it blows out through the ductwork. And you got your compressor, you got your condenser coil. The only piece of ductwork that gets hooked up is this one up here to get rid of the exhaust. This will be a typical application with a drop ceiling. Your ductwork will go on that. That loop there, this gets extended. This is a two by two ceiling tile. If, uh, if the place has a two by four, we take this, put it in half of the tile, and bring the other tile back to meet this. And this, we have between seven feet and eight foot of ductwork. Now we can expel the exhaust other ways using longer existing duct, whether it be portioning it out a window, out a door, just to remove the heat from the room. Now also this unit has a built-in condensate pump that if you have a floor drain, you would just put the hose in on a quick release, run it to your floor drain, or run it outside, whatever you have to do. We also can put a uh, Another pump on it, if it's a far run, to actually get it out of the, of the site. This is a quick release, and that's all you have to do. And then naturally you run this to your, your floor drain. Any, any kind of safe water that, that this is going to collect will go through and actually be pumped out. Okay, right here, basically you have your full evaporator coil. And then right here is where your Evaporator fan blower comes out, which would then pass the air through your spotting nozzles here. The bottom of here is your pan, which is also connected to your condensate pump, which leads to the line that you connect. And this is the back end of your evaporator side. Here's your coil, your, your blower wheel for your internal room air. You got your condensate pan underneath the coil where you're going to get your condensation off your coil from it absorbing the heat and then collects down in the pan into your condensation pump which would then be pumped out. When these units come back, they come back from all different app applications from uh, construction to uh, computer rooms. So we actually take what we showed you, these doors and all, we take it off so we can get inside and clean it so when the, the following customer gets it, there's no issues with any kind of uh, dust or dirt that was left from the previous uh, person. Pretty much a self-contained unit. Once you, once you wire it in, so all you have to do is go to that front control panel and work everything from that control panel.